Hey Libra, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. This is going to be your weekly reading. Um, this, uh, this, all decks have already been shuffled. This is your weekly reading. It could um, resonate at another time or it could resonate on the week that it comes out. It's for Libra, anyone with Libra placements or anyone else who, whoa, is guided to see the Libra reading. All right, let's just see what we got here. Uh, fork in the road, go the distance, milk and honey. All right, so um, when you hit this fork in the road, Spirit says keep on going. Go the distance because you're going to hit milk and honey. So you're going to dive right into that beautiful pot of gold at the end of the rainbow if you go the distance. But you're going to hit a fork in the road and it's going to change your direction. This could be like startling at first. Like, wow, wait a minute. What? I'm going in this direction. What do you mean? I got to turn back around or I got to go in it. It's going to be different, but there's, it's going to lead to something better for you. You're being guided. All right. So let's find out. All of these decks have all been shuffled. So we just have to shuffle a little bit to get them going. All right. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for Libra. What do we need to know about this Libra reading? What are the most important messages we have for anyone with Libra placements? King of Pentacles. Um, what is this? The uh, Knight, no, Page of Wands and the Three of Cups. The Page of Wands is reversed. What else? What else? Libra reading. What else do? Okay. We've got the Devil. Ooh, okay. Well, it is what it is. And the Eight of Swords. Whoa, somebody really feels trapped up. All right. What is this about? Oh, gosh. Okay. And we got the Temperance and we got the Queen of Wands reversed. Wow, this is a lot of stuff happening here. <laughs> oh my God. All right, but the good news is if you look at the top of your reading, fork in the road, go the distance, milk and honey. Whatever's happening is leading you to milk and honey. So Spirit says roll with it. Let's find out what it is. Okay, so we've got the Four of Swords in the reverse at the bottom of your deck. And we got the Page of Cups reversed, and we have the Ten of Swords reversed, and we have the Tower. Wow. All right. Well, behind that, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So is this Eight? Eight of Pentacles. This could be a work situation for Wands in reverse. This your, Something at your job could have been, like, turned upside down. Boom. Somebody feels really betrayed here. Ten of Swords. I feel like it's probably you. Um somebody very disingenuous could be a Pisces in the reverse here it doesn't have to be work but it could be um and the four of wands says you've been I mean four of swords says you've been recovering from this but you're about to come back into action why I don't know this four of swords and this devil and this eight of swords says you've been completely stuck blindfolded bound unable to budge because of something someone did or something that they betray i mean they caused a huge tower all right so let's find out what this is um we do have the page of wands reverse sometimes this can be lies um we do have the three of cups so this could be people working together we do have the king of pentacles which looks really good that could be your energy libra we also have the queen of wands over here in reverse this could be someone you're dealing with or it could be your energy any of these people could be you or them um, we have the uh, temperance. Um, let's get to the bottom of this. <laughs> All right. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? What do we need to know about this Libra reading? Why is the King of Pentacles here? Libra reading. Why is King of Pentacles involved? Okay. So this is somebody who you might have had a partnership with. Okay. So two of cups in the reverse. Um, something could have happened between you and this uh, king of pentacles because unless this is you this could be you if you're a masculine all right so um let's look at the well let's look at the queen of wands tell me about the queen of wands reversed libra reading why is queen of wands in the reverse queen of wands could also be king right tell me more about the queen of wands reversed here Whoa, Ten Swords in the reverse. Okay, so if you're Libra Feminine, this is probably you because you feel like something happened. Ten Swords get stuck in your back. You're just recovering from this. And there we are again, the Queen of Wands with the Ten Swords stuck in her back and she's just recovering with it. You have Ten of Swords twice, but in reverse twice, which is excellent. If we got to have it, we might as well have it in the reverse, right? 
All right, so let's keep going. What do we need to know about the devil and the eight of swords? It's all the same exact energy to me. Yeah, that's what I thought. You're getting ready to walk away from this. So you were stuck in something, but you're severing ties in some way. You, this is part of your bust free and go a different direction, right? Um, tell me about the page of wands reversed here. What do we need to know? Why is page of wands reversed? Libra reading. Okay. The lovers. Okay. So the lovers, it could be love, but it doesn't have to be. It could just be about a decision. It came out as a challenge. So why is the lovers a challenge to the page of wands? Why is the page of wands reversed? Let me get one more page of wands reversed. A decision okay yes yeah. so we're making a decision so two of pentacles someone had to make a decision and they chose to be single okay so we have the lovers and we have the single so I feel like someone uh, made some kind of a decision that wasn't easy for them and they chose to become single and somebody's not going to be happy about this so in other words with the with the um, page of wands reverse, someone's not happy to find out that the person that they, somebody chose to stay single or become single. Tell me about the three of cups, the, because they, the person who walked away from this felt like it was toxic or felt like, I don't know, they felt hemmed in by it or something. Tell me about the three of cups. Well, like I said, I mean, something, you know. Somebody betrayed somebody here. So the person who chose to be single did it because they felt like this was a toxic situation. Tell me about the Three of Cups. That's way too many. Just one or two. Three of Cups, please. One or two. Why Three of Cups? Okay strength reversed okay we've got the strength we got it reversed we got the three of swords this probably was third party so someone probably cheated on someone i mean that's what i really see like someone blew up the home blew up everything that they had put all this work into they blew it up they by betraying the other one by being disingenuous and this person's been healing ever since so we broke up the family or the whatever it is we cheated on the other person so someone will decide to stay single here because they have no strength to deal with third party and they feel that this is a toxic situation so they're leaving it behind three of wands as well at the bottom in reverse this is all because somebody uh chose a third party or involved them in a third party tell me about temperance I don't know if they, if someone found out that someone was married or something like that. Tell me about, um, just, I don't, I'm going to do that again because I wasn't paying attention. Um, temperance, just one or two cards, please, for temperance. So what I was saying is I'm not sure if someone found out about a third party or if they were pulled into a third party. Tell me about temperance. What do we need to know? Temperance. Five of swords so somebody felt um taken advantage of here definitely um by someone who um i feel like someone who was probably married because um i don't know let me just get one quick one on the queen of wands reverse ten of swords reversed what do we need to know queen of wands reverse ten of swords reversed ace of pentacles reverse what is that about Tell me about why is the Ten of Swords here reversed with the Queen of Wands reversed? Queen of Wands could, uh, oh, okay. Uh, the Hangman. So somebody um, found out about this by, um, no, someone's gone within. Okay, so here's what I've got. So Libra, you're coming through as this Queen of Wands. Um you've gone within to reflect on this to get enlightenment on this you're doing a lot of internal work there is a new beginning coming for you but you're still healing from that ten of swords the ten of swords really i mean it did you in and, and we've got it everywhere where you are trying to recover from this ten of swords so who did this person um i don't know who there's definitely a third person it could be a leo 
very well could be a Leo. Could be anyone. Now, there's Pisces here as well. Scorpio's here. They're all here. Capricorn's here. Um, I don't know who they cheated on you with, but you're going to get an opportunity to fork in the road, go in a different direction. And Spirit says that other direction is the direction you're supposed to go in. Um, if you're with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, especially a Capricorn, Spirit says go. You know, break that bond and walk go don't go back to somebody who especially is a capricorn i have to say that it's all over the reading i also feel like i'd be very leery of a sagittarius or a leo i definitely would um I want to take a look at the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like that's you. That's often Libra energy for me. Like you chose to be single and you're better off single. Or you're going to. I don't know if you've done any of this yet. Tell me about, because you. it says when you hit the fork in the road, go the distance, milk and honey. And then you end up in this beautiful Nine of Pentacles energy on your own. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles here. Now keep in mind, a third party interference could be other, you know, it doesn't have to be cheating. It could be... You know, their job, a drug, something could have been. Yep, that's you. That's absolutely you. So this is your energy as the Empress. For me, the Empress is a Taurus or a Libra. Um, sometimes an Aries. It could be anybody. Anybody high vibration. But these are both Empress energy for me. Um, the Nine of Pentacles and the Empress. So when that fork in the road hits, Spirit says, just keep on going. When you start walking, don't look back. This is like Lot's wife. Don't look back. Don't look back or, you, or you'll turn to a pillar of salt. Don't do it. Uh, that's from the Bible, by the way. Um, but the angels came and told Lot and his family, we want you to leave uh, the town. And when you do, don't look back at what's happening because they were coming in to destroy all the sinners of the town. And they wanted Lot and his wife and his children to go and be spared. So the angels told them, don't look back. You know, the, the, you'll have to pay the price if you look back. And Lot's wife turned around and looked back and she was turned into a pillar of salt. So keep on walking. Spirit says, don't Go back with this person, go the distance, and you're going to end up in the pot of gold and the milk and honey because you're going to be in this super awesome energy that's going to, but it's a choice that you're going to make that detaches you. You're going to make this choice from this person and from any weird third party or anything they were trying to keep you trapped in. Whatever they were trying to keep you trapped in was not in your highest good. Look, third party again at the bottom, three of cups. Go, just keep going, Libra. Go, go, go. All right, I hope this helps someone. Um, I'm sure not everybody's dealing with third party, but damn, somebody is. Um, it's like everywhere. It's coming at me everywhere, this third party thing. You know, what is third party? It could be something else. It doesn't have to be cheating, but it could be somebody's drug addiction. It could be somebody's family members. It could be somebody's best friend. It could be somebody's toxic behaviors. It could be their alcoholism. I don't know. Something that's toxic that causes a problem and it's a interference that could be considered a third party so whatever it is for you it's going to be different for everybody but for a lot of you i definitely think this person entertains other feminines or masculines because i don't know which one you are right so i don't know if you're the masculine or the feminine but it could be the same story for either of you angels what do we need to know here the blank one fell out we don't need the blank one we need a better one than that okay we're gonna put that this is just a blank one i'm putting it back in Okay. All right. Yeah. Another blank one. We only have two in the whole thing. I'm going to reach right under and grab both the blank ones are together. That's funny. Humor. This is going to be a way better cycle. Look at this one standing up. I don't know if you can see it. Simplicity. Uh, it was just standing up. I don't know if you could see how it was standing up. Willingness to have more fun. That's what that says to me. Be willing to laugh. Be willing. I hope you're ready for it is what Spirit's saying. Sisterhood, brotherhood. You're being led to something so much better with people that care about you um, in a situation where you're going to have a whole lot more fun in your life. Being, You're going to be in this high vibration and you're going to go into milk and honey and it's all coming because you detach from somebody. 
let me know you guys i'm dying to hear from you and like i said this doesn't and it doesn't have to be love if this is like a toxic work situation if this is toxic friendships what is it that you have been stabbed in the back and you are now blowing up or somebody blew up your world and stabbed you in the back what is it i keep saying work because the eight of pentacles is here but it could be love because the lovers is here it could be different for each of you but spirit says the lovers really has to do with making this decision these are both decision cards the two of pentacles and the lovers and they're both here saying you're going to make a decision and it's going to make you single and you're going to end up in a really high vibration for it Whew. let me know libra comment down below let me know if you enjoyed the reading if you resonated with it let me know if um just like the video it helps the channel i appreciate it and don't forget to watch all the other readings you have out there i have no idea at this point what i put out yesterday because i'm doing the weeklies before i do what i'm doing on saturday because i haven't made up my mind what i'm going to put on out on saturday could be pick a reads could be um a special reading i'm not sure it could be love readings i'm not sure what i'm going to do for saturday yet so something went out yesterday and i hope you guys will check it out also of course there's always a collective weekend reading and there's the weekend the weekly readings from last week which are definitely still in play the monthlies just went out a few days ago do enjoy and let me know how you enjoy them thanks so much guys have a great week bye